Fascinating. Hello there and welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to discuss the alternative to the level blueprint which we normally find up here. It's very tempting to use it because it's right in front of us. It's one of the first things we see and we dive into. But it does have its pitfall because as soon as you start putting any code into that it is embedded in that level blueprint so it's not particularly flexible um, and there's better ways of going about creating um, a setup actor that we can then use across all levels for example so i've already got one in my scene i tend to have a setup actor already established so when i start a new project i can just drag that in and actually migrate it into a new project and it takes some of that repetitive early stages out of the process. But what we'll do is I will show you how to create one from scratch. So first of all, we just add an actor. So add import blueprint class, and we just go for actor. So we can call that setup two for the purposes of the exercise. So that can be uh, an empty actor basically. But what I tend to do is I tend to add a few components that just get me um, started, ones that I use quite regularly, and it just means that I can reference them and get access to them very, very quickly should I need to. So one thing that I always add is a post-process volume because I tend to turn off the eye adaptation. So if I come here and turn off the automatic eye adaptation because I don't particularly like it. Oh, I tend to put that at zero zero. Um, and I, I'll just check that for now. Um, and I might also put in an audio component should I just want a sort of soundtrack for this map. And it just means that I can put it here and again access any of the controls within it. So I've just added some initial components to do some of the sort of setting up. Now, one thing that I also do is within the blueprint, I tend to get a reference to self. If you've watched the game instance um, introduction to uh, video, which I strongly suggest, I can come here to my game instance and then add a new variable. And if I come to select setup two, which is the actor that we've just created and get an object reference, that object reference is then accessible through the game instance at any time. So what I'll do is I'll just create a reference to it first. Now, creating a reference doesn't actually add that actor. We have to do that in the actor itself. And that's what we started to do here. So if you recall, we created that blueprint function library for the get, in, uh, get GI. So if you've not watched that video, then I refer you back to the blueprint function library video. And now if I go to set setup two, which is maybe I didn't compile that first what didn't what didn't I do oh there we go sorry set up to let's name it correctly compile save and then if I come to the setup to actor set setup to and because it's a reference to self I now have assigned this actor to the game instance reference. So now if I'm anywhere else in any other uh, blueprint, so for example, I'll just come here to um, a widget blueprint that I just seem to happen to have open. If I now do get GI and I get um, the setup to actor, I can now, for example, access the post-process component that we had within 
our actor that we added. Similarly, I can create a button and get the audio component and potentially affect its volume, for example. So now from within a HUD widget, I'm accessing the game instance, which has a reference to that setup actor, and then I'm accessing the components within that setup actor. So now you've got that actor as a standalone blueprint actor, you can move it anywhere between levels, spawn it, destroy it, and it's just much more flexible than relying on the level blueprint. And then the last thing that we need to do is to make sure we put our setup actor into our world. Uh, I tend to put it at the origin, zero, zero, by clicking the yellow and then just dropping it 200 units below. And then I do that consistently across maps and then I always know where it is. Of course, if I just want to access it or find it, I press the F key and it will center it or because there's nothing in it and it's purely uh, blueprint information and some variables, I can just click here and access it again. I hope that's of use. Live long and prosper.